A convicted felon is accused of selling a gun to the terrorist who took hostages at a Colleyville synagogue nearly two weeks ago. The FBI connected 32-year-old Henry Williams and hostage taker Malik Akram through cell phone records. Agents say eventually Williams admitted to selling Akram a pistol just two days before the attack at a southern Dallas intersection. Fox 4's Dion Anglin live to take us through today's developments. Dion. Hi there, Steve. That's right. The developments continue to unfold. The latest information involving the sale of the weapon used in that hostage uh, standoff situation. 32-year-old Henry Williams made an initial appearance in federal court Wednesday afternoon. The charge, a felon in possession of a firearm. FBI investigators, after working the case around the clock, zeroed in on how the now deceased gunman, Malik Faisal Akram, got his hands on the weapon he used on January 15th to terrorize a rabbi and worshipers at Colleyville's Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue. Williams and Akram were linked via cell phone records. Agents first spoke to Williams on January 16th and then a second time on Monday of this week just before he was taken into custody on an outstanding warrant. Investigators say since then, Williams has confirmed he sold Akram a gun at an intersection in South Dallas. They point out both men's cell phones were in close proximity to one another on January 13th. According to the complaint, Williams told investigators Akram said he was going to use the gun as intimidation to get money from someone involved in an outstanding debt. Now, next up for Henry Williams, a detention hearing in federal court that's set for Monday, January 31st.